All right, more news now. It's been a tough week for the city of Auburn. There have been four fires over the past week. Nearly two dozen people are now homeless. No one was seriously injured during the fires, and it's believed the fires were accidental. As New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us, an outpouring of donations from the community is bringing new hope for people who lost everything. Like from my home room. Kaylin Sampson and Tyler Shanette awoke early Wednesday morning to find their three story apartment building engulfed in flames. Another tenant rushed with a ladder to help neighbors trapped on the roof escape through a window. They couldn't see where it was because there was just so much smoke and fire behind them. So we kind of had to yell to them so that they could hear our voice. They were among 12 tenants who lost everything in the two alarm blaze and are now living with family members. But they are rising from the ashes thanks to the kindness of others. Anything you can do to help. Tyler's brother Matt just arrived from New Hampshire with clothes and household items. Tyler, a teacher and coach at St. Dominic Academy, also received furniture and other donations from parents and staff. Kaylin's employer, Hannaford's, has also stepped up to help. A GoFundMe account has also raised more than $5,000. We didn't really expect the outpouring that we're getting, and so it, it was surprising and very emotional. Over in downtown Lewiston, Mike Treadwell's two children, Zoe and Darius, play with donated toys. He slept through the smoke alarms as a blaze tore through this four unit apartment building on Turner Street early last Saturday morning, displacing 18 people. His wife and children had already gotten out of the building when the light from a police officer's flashlight guided him to safety. Pretty much had the beam going through the smoke and I followed it. Treadwell picked up toys, clothing and other needed items, pouring in for fire victims at the Cadence Kitchen Food Pantry and Thrift Store. We've been to Lisbon and Sabatis and Auburn so for donation pickups, so it's, it's really been great just to see everybody kind of coming together for, for the families. Now there have been four fires in just five days over the past week. And fire officials tell News Center, though, none of the fires are believed to be suspicious, but the majority were possibly caused by improperly discarded smoking materials, and the dry conditions we've been having have also played a role. More than half a dozen children now homeless attend Sherwood Heights and Washburn Elementary Schools in Auburn. Teachers and staff here mobilized quickly, collecting donated clothing, household items, books, and gift cards. Students throughout the district also raised money to assist displaced families. It doesn't matter what school you go to, like you're our, you're our kids, you're our family, so we're going to do what we need to support you. Both Treadwell and Jeanette, meanwhile, plan to distribute the extra items and donations to assist other families. We're going to reach out to them and be like, hey, we have this extra stuff, do you want it? Paying it forward so those who are starting all over can pick up the pieces. In Auburn, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.